So I'm going to introduce you guys today to Bob. Bob stands for Bucket of Bolts and that's pretty much what this motor is. Um, it's been dismantled for nearly 18 months. Um, it was purchased from a wrecking yard uh, as a not running engine. Um, you can see here the piston for the engine. I'll try and keep that in the light for you guys. Uh, sort of noticing the absence of a bit of skirt on one side and the wrecker said well we tried to start it but it was rattly so we switched it off um, so I'm pretty sure that that would have been perhaps a little bit rattly um, if the motor if your motor ever becomes rattly and you switch it off in a hurry you're more likely to be able to redeem the motor than if you try and ride it 100 k's down the street to your mother's house um, this is a combination of poor servicing, lack of oil changes and abuse. I mean, there's no point in revving the crap out of uh, the motor. Um, a, a CB125E, for example, spins to 9,000 revs before it redlines. Um, most of the power is made 7, 7,500 and it starts to taper off. Revving its brains out doesn't do any good. Uh, I have got CDI units, which I don't sell, by the way, before anybody asks, uh, because uh, I don't think they're of any benefit. I do have CDI units that remove the rev limiter. Uh, the rev limiter generally will kick in at around 9,100, 9,200, about 9,300. Uh, the engine self-destructs. Uh, not dissimilar to this. Uh, so. Uh, from first-hand experience, uh, I'd like to assure you that taking the rev limiter off this engine is really not a good idea. You're better off leaving it on. Um, so Bob came into my hands anyway. Um, I dismantled Bob and I started assembling the bits required to put it together. Uh, at the same time, I acquired other engines as well. Um, in, in total, at the moment, uh, the CB125E test bike we have has three engines, Bob is one of them, and uh, we've decided to sort of put it back together again in front of your eyes so that you can see what it's all about. We're going to use uh, HOC parts wherever required uh, to fix it up. Um, those who don't know, high octane commuting actually has a presence on eBay Australia. Uh, we sell parts uh, for various motorcycles. The list is growing all the time. Um, Bob here has been thoroughly inspected, so it's a bit of a shame you didn't get to see Bob being pulled apart. Um, I've even got the gearbox bearings out um, for inspection. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop it all back together again and um, put it into the test bike ride it down the street. So this is part of a series of course. Um, I'm, I'm getting Bob back together again. I suppose probably I should focus on this a little bit more so you guys, um, I mean you can obviously see that there's a large chunk of skirt missing there. Um, if we go to this little container here, this is what I rescued out of the bottom of the engine. That's probably the majority of the skirt. Um, the cylinder, if we get that into the light in just the right way, um, you'll actually see. See under my thumb, see that shiny part there? That's actually the scoring on the cylinder from where the piston dug into it. Of course, the piston being completely out of shape at that point um, could have ripped it up a lot worse than that, um, but it hasn't. So, anyway, we're going to put this little devil back together again, get it running for your amusement. 
and uh, from there I've got a few other plans for it as well. So, this is Bob. <laughs>